What is up everybody? JPA Trades here. And better late than never, but we're going to be going over the Lockheed Martin play from last week and kind of what thoughts went into it and what why it worked well. So just to go over what we're talking about here. So this was the Lockheed Martin 390 puts that we bought for a dollar, February 8th. So a couple people were asking, why did you buy it? And here we'll go to the exact time. 1.20 p.m. February 8th, right in here on that high tick up to, you can see it in the upper right up here, just wait for it to switch. So 396.16. So the reason that we bought it there is because the previous 52 week high was 396.99. Let's see if we can zoom out and see it easily. I think it was right here, right about, is it this one? Uh, yeah, 396.83398. So, so right around that same high. So the reason we took it, so Lockheed Martin, as you've probably seen the last few days even weeks as the tension in russia ukraine escalates lockheed martin goes up as the news de-escalates lockheed martin goes down so when we took this alert there was an announcement out that france was de-escalating the russia situation so we took that puts on the hey not only is it at a previous high which will act as a strong resistance but it's also experience that news flow so we had that news hit it chopped around for a little bit it had a dip our puts went up about like 65 percent right here but that wasn't the move we wanted we wanted that nice pullback we see this basing in here so i said in the tweet and i'll pull it up so we have 386 uh 385.2 so i told you guys I was looking for a pullback to 386 and I don't want to bore you here looking through everything. So here's all the kabooms. Let's see if I can just find one real quick. Lockheed Martin, JPA Trades, that's me. Lockheed Martin, top. All right, here's whoever odd is, shout out you. So there's the target, bought with a 386 target. So the reason I was saying that 386 is you had these repeating wicks where it went down. So wick down, 385, wick down, 386 and 385, 386 and a half center. So I said, I wanna wait to see that move out. And then we finally got that breakdown as the news improved and the market sold off. It went below that 386 target but it met that target and that led to over the 500 percent return it happened to be on friday so just to kind of build on this because i think it's important to recognize so when the news is strong in a name and it lines up with one of your technical applications that's a good opportunity to go in favor of your position because a news article breaks any chart for example let's say some tech stock Apple was about to break out and Russia invades Ukraine, all of your tech is gonna get crushed. It doesn't matter if you had the perfect chart set up, the perfect anything going in your direction. The news trumps the chart, trumps the pattern. If you're in a situation where the chart, the news line up, that's where you can have these really lucrative opportunities and why I wasn't worried. So you can see that right here, that next morning, it shot back up to 397.62 and our options were actually down 50%, but I was never concerned because the news narrative didn't shift. There was no re-escalation. There was no Russian troops invaded yet until afterwards, and that came at the end of the day. Well, it happened in the morning on Friday. Thursday, we already locked in a lot of our gains, so we had our 
little nuclear guy go off. Let's see him here. Uh, too many. Let's see. There's Zach talking about something. Me complaining. What was it? Hashtag GPA plays. Lulu. Oh, here's the target. 386. So there's our there's a little nuke. Let's look at the exact time. 323 in the afternoon, right in the sell-off where we were looking for that 386 hit, which we got. But when the news shifted where Russia was considering attacking and escalating, it gained it all back right away. So you gotta understand, and that's why we haven't traded a lot this week. When the news is messy, when there's headlines back and forth, when there's this, when there's that, you don't want to get caught in the whipsaw. You could have thought, oh, right here, Lockheed Martin, it broke this low, it's going to tank. And you would have got trapped. You would have got squeezed out. You would have lost all your money. The week would have ended. You would have been busted. And then the same thing, you had another chance here where it went to 400. 400 is a big psychological level, like we talk about all the time. And it sold off. But the reason we didn't take puts again Monday morning is you didn't, the news wasn't there. So it might have technically said, hey, 400 big psychological level chance for a sell off, take puts. But over the weekend, we were literally afraid of a potential war, potential invasion of some sort. You can't go into a position saying, hey, this is where I got to take my short. There's so many factors going against you. You want to kind of have a clear and unclouded vision when you're taking these plays. I like to do pure, purely based moves based on if it hits one of my levels, if there's nothing I have to worry about going on. I don't want the Fed talking the next day. I don't want Russian troops about to invade the next day. I just want pure action. I want to be able to say, this is the reason I think it can go to here. Not, well, if this might happen, or if they deliver strong numbers, or if no one gets blown up today. The, less ver the more variables you can take out of your options place, the higher success rates you're going to have. And I think with that, hopefully this was a quick little breakdown. Uh, I know it was late. Sorry for being late. I might have been a little bit all over the place, but I felt like I should get this out to you guys, and hopefully you enjoy it. So with that, I'll see you next time.